ask if there are any Germans amongst us. Herzlich willkommen. Are you going to tell a joke? <laughs> oh my goodness, how to respond to that? Well, a German That's joke is not a laughing matter, sir. <laughs> right. <laughs> Good point. Good. Now, I'm certainly not going to joke about Germans. Far from it. I have worked with them. I admire their style, etc. This, I want to say, this is Steinecker Kronos equipment. High tech equipment. Fully automated. German high technology. The best of the best. These guys are not joking around and most certainly not when it comes to brewing. So, absolutely the best of the best. Sind Sie damit einverstanden? Okay. Okay. You could have fooled me there. Now, what's going on in here? What is going on in here is the following: You're not visiting a brewery to find out from the explanations about how to make bread. Now, on the other hand, when you think it through again, um, beer is nothing else than fermented, liquefied liquid bread. In a way, you just need a few ingredients, lots of water. We agree on that. Yeast, hops, malt. And then you can start. Now, the malt, that is something you should know. Malt is, in fact, nothing else than sprouted barley. I think I heard you say barley. Barley is the cereal that is commonly used to produce beer. We can use any other cereal. You know? I don't know what's growing in Africa, but when there is cereal, we can make beer. And we can make beer with mice. Cereal. Sprouted barley, malt. Now, that malt will be added to hot water here and will be heated up from 20 degrees to 70 degrees. I'm talking Celsius here, people. Uh, I think you can translate that if you multiply it by two and then add 34. There we have Fahrenheit. Very hot water, okay? Now, something like that. It's not cooking. Hot water. The thing here is that you realize that something very, hap very interesting happens here. Very important. The starch in the green will be transformed into natural sugars. This is what it's all about. Natural sugar. And then here we go. You should visualize this as the top of an iceberg. At the end of the tour, you will see the bottom of this installation where everything is connected to everything. So I say it will go from here to there. It's not jumping out of it. It's not manually exploded. Yeah? It's all underground what's happening. Mixing something, starch, sugars, sugars. Then we will talk about wort. That's a thick silk-like liquid that will be filtered properly cooked, after cooking they will add hot food from the different containers and last procedure in here is centrifuging in sort of a whirlpool. thing there is to have superfluous proteins at the bottom. I mean, I think you should see it like this. So we end up with an easy to digest liquid, not too heavy on the stomach. This is just a matter of hours here, yeah? nothing more than that. Our wort will still have a temperature of 70 degrees and now we will have to pull it down from 70 degrees to 20 degrees. I'll tell you why. This is a crucial temperature on another level. Okay? Now throughout the building there are quite a few steps and stairs to take. I come from a military background, nevertheless, <laughs> that's a long time ago already. Uh, we had always these security briefings before any activity. This is just a friendly warning. Everyone makes out for him or herself whether he wants to do it or not. But once we're halfway, there is no elevator to take us back. Yeah? And on the way back, it's a little bit steeper here and there. For the rest, nothing dangerous at all. Follow me, please. 